Hey everyone, we got a special guest star on Rocks in a Box today. This is my neighbor Sam. Say hi Sam. Hi. Uh, Sam and I went uh, up to the UP, uh, when was it, June? And uh, spent, what, three days up there looking for rocks? Mm -hmm. And this is your last of them? You, yep. You, what'd you say, did another batch or two? Yep, this is probably the second or third batch. All right, so uh, anyhow, we'll uh, take a minute and show them to you. These are from the Eastern UP. Uh, east of Grand Marais and west of Whitefish Point, we went to several beaches. All right, what do we have first, Sam? Uh, this one was interesting. I'm not quite sure what it is, but polished quite well. Yeah, I don't know what it is either. Uh, it's a nice piece of some sort of jasper type material. Yeah. Couple more pieces of jasper. I always like the jasper. That one's got little bits of metal. Little, yeah, little metallic flakes in it. It's a piece of magnetite. Ma magnet sticks to it. Red part doesn't really stick, but it'll move over to the black part. Right. Yeah, I think the black's the magnetite. I don't so, know what the red is. Yeah. Sometimes it doesn't take a great polish, but it still looks pretty neat. Yeah, I like it. There's another piece with a bit of metal running through it. That's really cool. I don't know what kind of metal that is, but it's pretty neat. A few pieces of nice white quartz. Those are hard to pass up on the beach. I know they're sort of plain, but they're so white on the beach. This one's an interesting piece. Might be a bit of chalcedony or something. Yeah, it's really translucent. I don't know what the little black bits are in there, but it makes it a lot more interesting. A uh, nice piece of chirp. That might be my favorite rock in the whole batch. Couple pieces of epidote. I, th I think I'd call this one unikite because of the red in here. Yeah, it's got some that feldspar. End. And some real unikite. It's a nice piece too. Polished pretty well. The red parts didn't really undercut. Yeah, Unicut usually does pretty well, but if something's going to undercut, it's going to be the red. That's a cool one. There are little bits of crystal in there. I don't know what that one is either. These ones, I think, are some sort of fossilized something. A little bit of crystal on the end. Some weird layers or something. Figured that was a weird looking mineral. A little bit of blue quartzy stuff with some black little crystally type things. Um, here's an example of how Jasper sometimes doesn't turn out. Really bad undercutting on that one. Yeah, I don't know what causes that, because one piece will turn out just beautiful, like you already shown, and then some of them do that. Okay. Kind of neat. Kind of a conglomerate, almost. Mm-hmm. Kind of grayish quartz. That looks like that, right there, that looks like that limonite you see on agates sometimes, that same color. Yeah. I don't know if that's what it is or not, but the, the color's very similar. Bit, little piece of chert. Kind of looks like there's a bit of fossil going on in there too. It sometimes happens. Yep. And what's the rest? I 
Nice batch. Those turned out nice. Another piece of unikite. Yeah. That one's neat. Yep. Yeah, little piece of banded shirt there. And there. <laughs> Got some tiny ones. You pick up those things that I can't even see on the beach and you're picking them up and going, ooh, look, chert. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks for watching, everybody, and we'll see you next time.